Miss Fine, you'll miss the buffet. <laughs> Yes. But do you think the dress makes me look? No. Old? Do you like what I did? Yes. yes. I just gotta change my purse. Miss Fine, come on! We're gonna miss the premiere. What can she be doing up there? Blow drying, sir. <laughs> Niles, why does it take women an hour to do what a man can do in five seconds? Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> Let's go. Fine, I need gorgeous. I'm changing. <laughs> I, I, I meant gorgeous. Why didn't I say gorgeous? Why? 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 Dad, she's been working here for three years. When are you going to learn? OK. Does this make me look fat? No. <laughs> Do you like my hair this way? Yes. <laughs> is my tush wider than usual? There is no answer to that one. <laughs> So you've got to know how to speak to a woman. Miss Fine, you'll miss the buffet. Daddy, how do I look? Gorgeous. But do you think the dress makes me look? No. Old? Do you like what I did? Yes. Play. I just gotta change my purse. No, 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 Miss Fine. No one's gonna see the bloody purse. We will be late. Oh, will you calm down? I know that you always lie to me and tell me things start earlier than they do. Yeah, well, stupidly, this time I told you the truth. Well, why did you do that? I depend on that extra half hour that's not real. <laughs> why, honey? I've been sitting next to the same guy for the last four years, and I know he likes me, but he won't make a move. You've been waiting for some guy for four years? Mm -hmm. That's nothing. <laughs> it's not pathetic? No. <laughs> She is so in denial. Oh, Miss Fine, I've got to ask Mr. Sheffield for some time off, so I'm giving him this tie. Do you think you'll like it? Well, he ought to. It's his. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, he won't remember his tie. But I wonder if I should change out of his suit. <laughs> Niles, why don't you just walk yourself right in there and tell him you need some time off? Be honest. Speak from the heart. Tell him that you need some private time. You work like a dog. Dana, oh, you know what? Don't use that. I'm going to say that when I go in there and ask for this weekend off. This weekend? Yeah. But that's when I want off. My butler's glee club is having a big competition in Bermuda. Well, I'm sorry, but it's the big fine family reunion in Niagara Falls. And we have relatives coming in from all over. Tel Aviv, Budapest, Boca Gables, phase four. <laughs> I didn't know you had any family left to fly in. I thought they all lived in my kitchen. Look, why don't we just have Mr. Sheffield decide? That's fair. Oh, why are we arguing? I can relinquish three days of the Wilson's butler pulling down his sock goddess to show me his tan line. Really? Well, that's very sweet of you. Now, relinquish means you're not going, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, Mayor. Oh, I've got work to do, so you tape Bold and the Beautiful. Of course. <laughs> you have much to learn, young Jedi. <laughs> Uh, please let me have this weekend off. My last vacation was two years ago, but it doesn't really count. Miss Babcock showed up, and then there was this tropical depression. Mine. <laughs> but, Mr. Sheffield, you know, I've got to go to my family's reunion. Oh, <laughs> uh, to be honest, Niles, I... <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I, I, I did just give you a month off already. I was recovering from a heart attack. <laughs> Look, how you budget your vacation time is your business. I'll bring you back Cuban cigars. I'll send my mother to Cuba. I'll make you bake to Alaska. I'll send my mother to Alaska. <laughs> well, in all fairness, Miss Fine, Niles did ask me first. <gasps> He's wearing your suit. Well, she's wearing Miss Grace's skirt. <laughs> That's how I just won. Come on, Imogene. Can you? Who's she talking to? 
No one. Okay, I'll do it myself. Submit it for your approval. A girl who has a friend who isn't there. <laughs> An imaginary friend here in the Gracie Zone. <laughs> Give her a break. She's only six. When she invites an imaginary guy to the prom, we'll stop worrying. I win. Wanna play hide and go seek? Okay, you hide. Where'd she go? She is good. Gracie, woohoo, honey. Maybe we should all play a game together now. You know, like go fish or my favorite, old maid. Shut exactly. up, Brighton. <laughs> Toll House cookies? Because you eat now and you pay later. <laughs> no, they grow dough, it'll make you sick. Oh, that's not true. Grown ups just say that. Why? More dough for them. Grown ups lie sometimes. You know, you don't really have to wait an hour before you go into the pool. Oh, unless you've eaten my mother's cookle, then you gotta wait a week. <laughs> no, Imogene's sitting there. Oh, whoops, I'm sorry. I'll sit here. No, now she's sitting there. Oh, she's a zippy little thing, isn't she? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, sure. What? She wants to sit on the counter. What are you doing? She's only this big. She's only this big and she's causing me this much trouble? Here, get in the teacup. <laughs> she's bored. She's bored? Oh, here. <laughs> She just went to Disneyland. Hi, Daddy. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, don't eat raw dough, it'll make you sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> the eggs are pasteurized. Here, live it up. Take a fingerful. Mmm, very tasty. You know it. So, what do you ladies do today? We shop till we drop. <laughs> she tried on every pair of shoes and didn't buy a thing. I made a salesman cry. <laughs> I'll tell you, she's got a real gift. Well, I have to say, Miss Fine, cutting down on her therapy seems to have done some good. Well, you know what they say. Who needs Freud when you've got Ferragamo? <laughs> I think I should put out a shingle. Stop! What, what, what is it? What's the matter? You killed Imogene! How? What'd I do? You ate her! You ate her? I did not eat her! She was sitting on the cookie and you ate her! Oh, come on. Doi, doi! Oh, oh, Grace, Grace, don't. She's spat her out. There she is, Imogene's fine. Yeah, she's not dead. She's just a little stunned. You okay, honey? Help her! Do something! Well, what should I do? CPR? CPR? CPR, right! CPR. Over here. Well, I've only done it on a dummy. I hope I know. What am I saying? Say, turn, she's turning. Oh! All right, all right. The first thing we have to do is clear the air passageway. There, throat's clear. That wasn't her throat. <laughs> All right, you wash your hands later. Keep going. Wait, now, now I have to breathe in her mouth. Oh, this is her mouth. I'll pump her little heart. Don't break. Don't break her ribs. She's not breathing. Oi, okay. Ah, uh, getting a pulse. Oh, look, she's coming around. Well, she's a bit disheveled, but she's a plucky one. Oh, I pulled through! We've done it! Yay! Yay! It's too late. She's gone. This is terrible. I'll say my malpractice insurance is gonna skyrocket. Oh, well, it was an accident. I'm telling you, I didn't eat anyone. Here, darling, put this on. No, Ma, I'm not covering myself with that plastic. You want Mr. Sheffield to think he's proposing to your couch? Morty, I'm putting your hair in my purse. And I'm gonna lose another $600 like we did at Raging Waters. <laughs> you know? I proposed to my wife on this boat 30 years ago. And for 30 years, she's been saying, hey, Ray, when are we going back to Niagara Falls? I said, when you stop hocking me. So, here we are. <laughs> you big pain in the <laughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. I hear that you're in the show business. Oh. <laughs> I have an idea, and people think it should be a play. It takes place in Connecticut. Huh? What, you're not bringing anything to the party? <laughs> All right, Marilyn, leave him alone. Oh, is she pitching you her Connecticut story again? <laughs> Good, huh? <laughs> oh, look, look, Miss Fry, we're getting closer to the falls. Let's go find the children. Okay. There's Gracie over here. I get Gracie. Okay. Hey, sweetheart, come and look at the falls. <laughs> That's Miss Van Cookie. Yeah, she's the one that plays the spoons on her. Oh, yes, right. Ah, the maestro. <laughs> I, I enjoyed your rendition of Wipeout. <laughs> Brown jug. Played it too fast. Where the devil is this boat going, Miss Fine? The island of Dr. Moreau? <laughs> Sheffield, let's go to the bow of the boat. That's the best place to propose. I mean, uh, it, I propose that we go there. So you're gonna love your new grandma, Mrs. Klein. Now, do you remember what I told you to ask her? Is she related to Calvin, and can we get a discount? <laughs> Excellent. Good morning. And how are you two ladies doing today? Fine, Daddy. I'm a mama. Everything, everything all right, Miss Fine? <laughs> Miss Fine, is there something bothering you? What could possibly be bothering me? I'm a fool and a laughing stock. I beg your pardon. Nothing. Miss Fine, you've barely spoken a word to me in 12 hours. It's beginning to scare me. I have no idea what you're talking about. I invited my mother. I'll never hear the end of it. Come on, Grace. Miss Fine, you are not leaving this house until I know why you're so upset with me. I'm not upset with you. You're the best boss anyone could possibly ask for. Eat, trafe, and die. <laughs> Gracie, I had Mrs. Klein thoroughly checked out. She's cute, she's sweet, and she's healthy as a horse. <laughs> you know, she holds the retirement home record for most reps on the thigh burner. One. <laughs> oh, Grandma Yetta. We're here to introduce Gracie to her new grandma, Mrs. Klein. Oh, yeah? Well, if you want to talk to her, you're going to need a Ouija board. <laughs> she never should have gone for that second rep. Another one? What if it's me? What if I'm a jinx? Oh, no, honey. Now, that is just ridiculous. There's no such thing, Puy Puy. <laughs> People here are old and sick. They can go at any time in the next minute. Would you go cheer somebody else up? <laughs> Sweetie, you're an adorable little girl, and anyone would love to be your grandma. Right? <laughs> you're not a jinx. And just to prove it to you, I'm going to give you my very own grandma. Yada! <laughs> Damn quake souls stick like gum. <laughs> Honey, I'd love to be your grandma. I've lived a good life. So then she said that Heather was a liar. So then Heather said, no, wait. Oh, yeah. No, wait. 
Oh, yeah. Let me start again. See, honey, you're not a jinx, because I'm not dead. And I wish I was. Uh, honey, why don't we play some hide-and-go-seek? OK, I'll hide. Good choice, sweetie. <laughs> so what's the matter? Who said anything was the matter? Granny, I know you like the back of my hand. Jeez, I never noticed that before. <laughs> so anyway, what is it? Man trouble? Well, how can he not know what's bothering me? I don't know. It's because I'm like all the fine women. We're just too damn subtle. <laughs> it's a waste of time talking to men. First of all, they aren't that interesting. <laughs> 62 years I was married to your grandfather. We didn't say two words. The man had no communication skills. That's true. If only he'd been able to say I'm choking on a chicken bone, he'd be alive today. <laughs> so what is it? Your sex life stinks? Grandma, he doesn't sleep with me. Not even on your birthday? <laughs> That's a bad marriage. We're not married. Hi, right, look at me. I'm hanging on every word like I'm talking to Yoda. That's Nadine. She's Alina. Hi, Angel. Hi, Nay. Mwah! <laughs> oh, Nay, I'm so sorry about you and Barry busting up. Please, I'm fine. Does this disposal work? Yeah, why? <laughs> Well, at least you've made peace with it. <laughs> Hamid Niles, the butler. How do you do? I take pills. Oh. <laughs> Niles, mm. who does my sister look like? Uh, your mother. Niles? Don't she feel bad enough? <laughs> uh, Farrison. A pair of faucets. Farrow faucets. <laughs> oh. oh, yes, this is remarkable. Everyone says that. <laughs> Come, sit down. I'm so happy that you're here. It's good you got to get away for a couple of days. I'm sure you're gonna miss the girls, though. Ah, they look like Barry. That makes it easier. <laughs> Still, it must be hard on them. Oh, divorce is tough. No, I mean because they're staying with Ma. Ah! <laughs> How did we make it out of there without turning into two yentas? Oh, I, yeah. I tell you! <laughs> Say, so, you know, Loman's got in their big shipment. Did you go over there on Thursday? No, I had a barbecue. I piled all of Barry's clothes outside his mother's house, and I set them on fire. Wow, well, as long as you're not bitter. <laughs> Barry and I stopped having sex two years ago. Do you know why? Because you had that thing on your stomach that needed to be drained? <laughs> no, that didn't bother him. It was because he couldn't perform his animal husbandry. <laughs> Yeah, well, that was because he was performing nightly with that trampy sales girl from Wilson's House of Suede. <laughs> sales girl. Nothing. Fran, make her give it back. What? Ow, you're hurting me! Oh, Fran, that could be us. No, you used to schlep me around by my nostrils. <laughs> oh. Ah! Oh, stop it, stop it, stop it. What's the matter? Gracie stole my lipstick. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> Ryan, don't you think she's a little young to be wearing makeup? Don't you think she's a little young to let her boyfriend... <laughs> you... <laughs> you know what, Fran? I think I can handle this. All right, listen to me. I want you to be nicer to your sister, because someday you may need an organ. And your brother has a different blood type. <laughs> Come here. Look at me and Nay. Love you, Angel. Give me a kidney. Take two. Mwah! <laughs> Doesn't that just take you back? I remember you were always stealing my stuff. Nay, what are you doing with my sweater? <laughs> my sweater? No, it's not. I remember you gave it to me. I did not. Did too. You liar. Give that to me. No. Give it to me. It's no. mine. Oh, OK, good. you win. Fine. Ah. <laughs> That jacuzzi tub really knows how to perk a girl up in the morning. <laughs> Do you people sleep like that? 
No, but in a rather astounding coincidence, I sleep in a pair of pink fuzzy slippers just like yours. A simple wee dress for breakfast would suffice. You have to tell me these things, Niall. I simply assume. Don't assume anything with me. I'm from Flushing, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, I just love a good buffet. It's free, Miss Fine. You're allowed to go back. Oh. Oh. Where do I sit? The previous nanny sat in the kitchen. Oh, how anti-social. <laughs> Kids, what should we do today? Should we take a walk in the park or maybe just kick back, hang around the mansion? We have to go somewhere. Father's kicked us out again. Now, Brighton, I didn't kick you out. I merely asked that you not torment the caterers while they're preparing for this evening's soiree. Oh, a soiree, huh? Well, I got a sister who's a caterer. She does a porco de pruno. That's French for pork and prune. <laughs> Not only delicious, but a natural digestive. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Miss Fine. I could get you a deal. No, it's all right. Cece's made all the arrangements. Cece? What's a Cece? Father's lady friend. Maggie, dear, she's a business associate. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just hope there's enough food. You know, Shixes are notorious for not ordering enough food. <laughs> Booze, yes, but food they don't know from. Shiksa. Is that like a chachka? Yes, but they cost a lot more. It's Miss Babcock for you, sir. No, oh, thank you, Niles. I'll take her in the library. Miss hmm. Babcock loves to be taken in the library. I bet. So, kids, we're having a party. What are we going to wear? We're not invited. And neither are you. Oh, come on. Your father's paying for it. Of course we're invited. We'll eat, we'll drink, you'll bring a date. Maggie doesn't date. Never? The boys haven't noticed me yet. Oh, they've noticed, Maggie Ann. That's why you don't date. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Brighton? Middle child syndrome. Thank you, Sybil. <laughs> now, knock it off. Knock it off, all of you. We're a family here. Now, we have a party tonight. There's a lot we have to do. We'll go shopping, get our hair done, get a manicure. You'll get a French tip. It's a very clean look. <laughs> so I'll go get changed, and then we'll go, we'll do. Let me just take this. I hate to waste. Dad is going to hate this. Cece's going to totally freak. <laughs> Sounds like a party to me. Well, Miss Fine, is that everything? <sighs> yeah, I guess so. Unless you want to give me this one as a parting gift. I wrote you a poem, Fran. You did. F is for the fun we have together. R is for the rummy that we pray. A is for the answers to my questions. And N is for the nasal things you say. <laughs> Aww. We're all gonna miss that sound. <laughs> Come on, honey, the tunnel is backing up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I love you. I love you. I'll call you. <sighs> Brian, don't you want to give me a hug? No, I hate you. Oh, come on, B. You're not making this any easier on me. Yeah, well, why should I? You're not making this very easy on us. No, Brighton, that's quite enough. Well, he's right. I mean, you told us to pretend like we're happy about this, but we're not. We're losing our best friend. You're telling them to lie about their feelings? I haven't even gone yet. You're already making mistakes. I did it for you. But you think it's easy for us to stand here and watch you walk out that door and throw your life away on that Neanderthal? Huh? <laughs> well, I'm sorry, old man, but... Hey, hey, I'm younger than you. <laughs> it's fine. It... All right, it's true. The children will miss you. I'll miss you. But you've made us all so happy here. We, we just want you to be happy now. I don't want to go. Do something, you big oaf. You're damn right I will. Come on, honey, you're embarrassing me here. Daddy, I, I don't, I don't want to hurt you, but I think I've outgrown you. No, honey, you're just wearing heels. <laughs> Were you always this stupid? Yeah. 
<laughs> Nothing's changed. Maybe you got a little smarter. No, I think he was always this stupid. <laughs> hey, are you dumping me? No, I would never. Well, come to think of it, I think I am. <laughs> Gee, it doesn't feel as good as I thought it would. Baby, I love you. You love me. At least you love this, huh? See, I still got it. Yeah, but I don't want it anymore. No? Mm-mm. Whoa. You want it? Two seconds. Time heals all wounds. <laughs> Celebrate four seasons and it's on me. Oh no, my treat, my treat. No, Miss Fine, I'm paying. Oh no, I insist. I'll use the money you gave me for the honeymoon. Well, you didn't think you were ever gonna see that again, did you? Meanwhile, I have never seen Mr. Sheffield so upset. He was dead serious. Oh. He hates me. He reviles me. I wouldn't be surprised if he never talked to me again. Oh, this is gonna set the engagement way back. <laughs> Has anyone noticed how I haven't touched the cake? Yeah, Ma, you're doing really good. I'm so yeah. proud of you. Thank you. Meanwhile, Val, did you taste these double chocolate brownies stuffed with cheesecake centers? <laughs> Please, I'm still working on this cannoli. Mm. It's got chips. Let me taste. Mm. Oh, let how me have I? a knife. Why, Ma, you're not going to cheat, are you? on my wrists. Oh. <laughs> you know, Sylvia, my mother joined the diet center and she has lost 120 pounds. Another 50 and she can start sleeping upstairs again. <laughs> what are you digging for, Ma? I'm making sure I remembered my phone. Sammy's calling me from Florida and I don't want to miss him. I just can't believe what I did to poor Mongo Lane. There's got to be a way that I can help Mr. Sheffield out of this jam. Well, Rand, why don't you just go to her and beg her for mercy? You know, tell her what you did to Elton John and to Elizabeth Taylor. <laughs> and to Cher huh? and to Ben Midler. Lamb chop. <laughs> well, this, this would pale by comparison, really. <laughs> If no one is going to have any more of the cake, I'm going to put it away. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. mm. Out of sight, out of mind. Smart, young yeah, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very smart. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder where those two nuts came from. Hello. Oh, well, you know, honey, your father and I are sort of an item. He's just waiting until the time is right. Uh-huh. And that pony daddy promised me? Yeah. Glue. <laughs> All right, and we're off. How's my lipstick? Good? Mm-hmm. Hand big enough? Blocking the sun. Perfect. Look sharp. There's a live one. Excuse me, miss. I just had to come over and tell you, you have the most beautiful mother I've ever seen. Oh, well, she's not my mother. She's my sister. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm Brian. Oh, I'm Brian. I'm Fran. Hi. And this is Gracie. And this is Chester. Oh, you look like you could breed some champions. Well, all us fine women are pretty fertile. <laughs> oh, you meant the dog. <laughs> yeah, my dog's around here somewhere. Really? A Dalmatian. Oh. Her name's Dot. Oh, Dot. That's cute. Oh, she's over there. She uh, loves running around the park with all the other dogs. Oh, doesn't that look fun, Chester? Here, why don't you go network? <laughs> there you go. Good boy, go. Lay, good boy. Uh, oh. oh, Chester, stop it. Stop it. 
stop that. Don't do that. Oh, how embarrassing. <laughs> if I could do what he's doing, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chester's a lucky boy. He gets to go home with the world's cutest nanny. Oh, well, your day may come. <laughs> oh, where's Chester? Chester! Chester! Where is he? I don't see him. Well, you look over there. I'll, I'll check over by the fountain. Chester! 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 Friend, he's gone! Chester! I have something to tell you that is going to be very hard for you to take. You asked her to marry you, you scum! <laughs> Ten years of my life I have... Cece, 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 you miss fine. Lost Chester in Central Park. Oh, phew! You scared the hell out of me! <laughs> Oh, Miss Fine, Ace Ventura's here. <laughs> Hello, Maxwell. Yeah. Bob's gonna tap in your phone line here so we can run a trace. Oh, you're running a phone trace. Well, we've been having a series of Central Park dog nappings. <gasps> yeah, we think they staked out Chester since he was on the cover of the magazine. They? Yes, well, we believe the perps are a husband and wife team. <gasps> My perps not single? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I can't believe Chester was kidnapped. I'm so happy you're here. Well, if you've been working out, you're like a rock. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> let's let's not forget the urgency of a missing dog here, please. Oh. Grand answer. That could be him. Oh my. I don't want you to be nervous. I'm gonna guide you through this, okay? okay? She knows how to talk into a bloody telephone. <laughs> now see if you recognize the voice, okay? Hello. <gasps> I do. It's Ma. <laughs> Hi, Ma. Oh, hold on one minute. I'm getting the call waiting. Hello? <gasps> yeah, now you listen and you listen good. If you ever want to see Chester alive again. Okay, I'll hold. She has to hang out with her mother. <laughs> Ariana, shut that damn window. I'm trying to demand a ransom here. You just want to flirt with the nanny. You flirt with all dog owners, even men. One time, it got you a big screen TV. Let it go. <laughs> Hello? Uh huh. Oh, now I lost my place. Help, help, help. Yeah, yeah, you tell Cece Babcock I want $20,000. And if she tries to involve the police or the media, I'm sending her dog back to her one paw at a time. <laughs> huh? Please, I can't take that horrible sound! Well, I'm sorry, sir, but this happens to be my natural voice. <laughs> oh, no. He said he wants $20,000 or Chester gets it. Would you give me that? Me and that mutt are supposed to shoot the cover of Red Book on Tuesday. <laughs> Hello, mister. I'm gonna tell you the same thing I told my poverty-stricken uncle who needed an operation. Nobody squeezes a dime out of CC bad guy. You know, I always thought that I'd make a good therapist. Yes, well, <clears throat> I guess you would. Because uh... I'm really a good listener, you know? <laughs> and some people just can't get a word in edgewise. Yeah, that always seems to me... I mean, it me... takes a very sensitive person to know when someone needs to talk. <laughs> you know, when the doctor comes in, you could chime in once in a while. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Dr. Board has been called away, but her associate can see you. Oh, but when will she be back? I don't want some second-rate associate. <gasps> Dr. Joyce Brothers! I'm filling in for Dr. Board. I hope you don't mind. Oh, who cares about that loser? Was she ever on Hollywood Squares? <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, Dr. Brothers, I have read every one of your books. The language of feeling. That's David Viscott. <laughs> the 10 stupid things women do. Laura Schlesinger. <laughs> You're much taller in person. Dr. Ruth. Well, enough about you. Tick tock, ka ching, ka ching. <laughs> Now, the reason why I made this appointment for Mr. Sheffield... What? 
Wait a minute, you mean you brought me here under false pretenses? You know, I told Gracie that was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Oh. I don't need any bloody therapy. No, you don't. Are you Maxwell Sheffield, the Broadway producer? D yes, that's right. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy man, so I'll... Uh... I just loved your new show. I thought the reviews were completely off the mark. Well, I suppose I could stay for a little while. <laughs> Wow, you are good. <laughs> For your information, I have written ten bestsellers. Let it go, Joyce. <laughs> now, why are we here? Well, the fact is, Dr. Brothers, there's nothing wrong with me. My, my last show failed, so I've just been in a little bit of a bad mood lately, that's all. <laughs> A bad mood. You have been biting everyone's head off left and right. Watch this. <laughs> I sat on some junior mints on your new suede chair. You what? <laughs> Can you believe what I have to live with? Do you know what your problem is? You don't know how it feels to fail at something you put so much effort into. Oh, yeah? Well, you know that new suede chair with the junior mint stain? I tried to color in the rest with brown magic marker. <laughs> A huge failure. <laughs> Happy? Look, I don't know why everyone wants to make such an issue out of this. The fact is, I just have to come to grips with the fact that I am 42 years old. And despite having every opportunity money can buy, my life has amounted to zip. Oh, Mr. Sheffield. Let him go. He's just going through a little midlife crisis. It's very common among men his age. Oh, you know, I've read about that. Next thing you know, he'll be trying to prove his virility in the arms of the next gorgeous young thing to cross his path. <laughs> Out of my way, Joyce. <laughs> Sammy, Sammy says I got the boobs of a 73-year-old. <laughs> Darling, I brought Yetta's home chest. It's antique. I oh. thought it would be perfect for the nursery. Right. Yeah, yeah, you've got everything in here. Wow. Well, look at this picture. He's gorgeous. Who is that, Grandpa? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, look how cute that is. <laughs> Was this yours? Yeah, that was my first baby dress. Uh, Your mother's first one is in there, too. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, those are my old love letters that I wrote. Oh, to Grandpa? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it says, Dear Richard, Daddy's name was Joe. Would you believe Richard is short for Joe? No. All right. I'm busted. <laughs> I never told this to anyone, but I was in love once before your father. Wow, yeah. You had like a whole Dawson Stettel thing going on back then. <laughs> We met on the boat, coming over from Romania. My marriage to your grandfather was already planned, and he was waiting for me. But once I saw Richard. He was so handsome in his captain's uniform. He was a captain in the Navy? No, in the first-class dining room. <laughs> and when our eyes met... Intimate happened between you and Richard? Of course not. I was on my way to meet my future husband. <laughs> we 
we got separated on Ellis Island, and your grandfather was there waiting for me, but I told him I couldn't marry him because I wasn't sure of my feelings. So I looked for Richard for five years. I wrote him a letter every day. How did you know where to send the letters? I guess that's why I still have them. <laughs> So, Yetta, you're keeping us all in suspense. Who did you end up marrying, Richard or, or Fran's grandfather? Chatterbox, Claude speaking. <laughs> what do you mean she's cancelling her four o'clock on Mr. Anthony? You can't cancel on Mr. Anthony without a 48 hour notice. <laughs> Well, when did she die? <laughs> Hello? Come over here. <laughs> I'm very satisfied. Ma, what do you think you're doing? It's my turn to tip. <laughs> Don't worry, Sylvie, I still got plenty of room on this side. <laughs> oh, Mr. Anthony, I'm a married woman. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> like a ripe cantaloupe. <laughs> you bruise it, you bought it. <laughs> Remember what I told you when I introduced you to Mr. Anthony? Picture him naked. But I'm not nervous. So what? <laughs> Mr. Anthony, your 3.30 is here. Hey, Franny, ooh. <laughs> Look at that body. Look at that shape. Uh, oh, Mr. Anthony. No one conditions like you. <laughs> Thanks. This is Maggie. Hi. <laughs> She's invited to her first Sweet Sixteen party. Oh, you're 16, you're beautiful, and you're mine. <laughs> I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you like to slip into something a little more comfortable? Okay. <laughs> Claude will get you a smock. You know, Claude has styled a lot of celebrities. He's the one that told Jerry Lewis, more oil. Ooh, a natural blonde. Well, now there's two of us. <laughs> honey, honey, come here, come here. Oh, Mr. Anthony, this is Mary Ruth, your new shampoo girl. Oh, well, not so fast. I, I just don't hire anyone off the street. Let me see your resume. Ooh, super cuts. <laughs> What, what are you staring at? Nothing. I was just picturing you naked. <laughs> Before we start, I think it's only fair to warn you that I am first and foremost an actress. And at any moment, I may get a lead on Broadway. Or Merv Griffin could call and want a game show hostess. And it could all happen so quickly. In show business, they needed you yesterday. Do you sweep? Yes. You're hired. Bless you, Mr. Anthony. <laughs> You know, Yetta, Maggie is going to a Sweet Sixteen at the Statue of Liberty. Big deal. I had mine on Ellis Island. <laughs> so many people came. Yetta, you were in quarantine. I thought it went on a little long. <laughs> okay, Sylvia, you all done. Thank you, Kim. Uh, how long should I wait before I eat? Oh, about four years. <laughs> I tell you, I'm gonna love working here. What do you mean? I took a really good interview with Mr. Anthony. Oh, you're the one that told me Mr. Anthony was looking for a new shampoo girl. Yeah, why? Nothing? <laughs> I am practically a shoe-in. The only other person who applied is Estelle. <laughs> but he wants somebody young. You know, Ma, I don't 
don't think it's such a good idea. You work in here, inhaling all those permanent wave fumes. Oh, I love them fumes. Gives me a nice buzz. <laughs> okay, girls. Ready to go down the hill and get our skis? <laughs> all right, everybody hold hands. I don't want to hold her hand. She keeps pulling me down when she falls. <laughs> you are not a team player, little girl. And you're not a little girl. Girls. <laughs> Girls, enough. Well, she started. Yeah, friend, where's your guardian? He's over there. Well, I think you need to go over there and take a time out. <laughs> You girls are all in a clique, and I don't want to be in your clique. <laughs> Honey. Oh, sweetheart, what's the matter? Why are you crying? I only have five days to learn how to ski for the president, and I'm not picking it up. Oh, well, that's all right, sweetheart. I'll teach you. Really? You don't mind? No, of course not. I love you. Mm. Ow! <laughs> oh, I saw that, Cecily. <laughs> can it be to make the V? Even the five-year-olds can do it. Well, thank you, Cecily. <laughs> just, just squat like this. Get in the squatting position, all right? Okay. Just like with your weight forward. Now, if you want to turn to the right, you do this. If you want to turn to the left, you do this, right? Right, left. Weight forward. <laughs> the One thing is knowing how to stop. Make the V. Make the V. <laughs> We've been here for two and a half hours. I don't think anyone is going to find us. Wait, my voice carries. Hi! <laughs> Sweetheart, snow hanging precariously above us. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm so cold. Oh, honey, why didn't you wear your long johns like I told you? Because it adds unnecessary bulk. <laughs> honey. What are we gonna do? Oh, just let me hold you. Uh, that'll warm you up. Uh, yeah. Warmer. I'm getting a little toasty. <laughs> you know, this has always been a fantasy of mine. What, to uh, make love in the snow? Uh, no, to make love with my ski instructor. <laughs> Dr. Cressatelli will be with you in just a moment. Cressatelli, this is a matter of life or death. I need a Glickman or a, or a Schwartz. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. I'm Dr. Cressatelli. How are we doing? Oh, I've been better. I have a terrible, terrible rash. Oh, can you just give me a minute? I need to settle in. You're my first patient. Of the night? No, ever. <laughs> Wait a minute, Cressatelli, Cressatelli. You wouldn't happen to be Frankie Cressatelli from Parsons Junior High. Yeah, yeah, the best six years of my life. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I, I know, you, uh, your, your friend, um, uh, Fine. It's fine again, they didn't buy it. <laughs> How did you ever become a doctor? You couldn't even play Operation. <laughs> Just calm down. Real people are a lot bigger than that little cardboard guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I saw a Lieberman out there. <laughs> Fran, take it easy. That was a long time ago. Okay. I'm a professional now. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Let's have a look-see. Okay. Oh. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, God. Uh -oh. Nothing. I can, uh, I, I, I can take care of that. <laughs> With a shot. Fine, give me anything. The man of my dreams is right across the street in a beautiful hotel room, and he's finally ready to get intimate. give you this shot of cortisone and it should straighten you right out, okay? Now I'm okay. gonna give it to you in your rear right. because there's a lot less pain in a big fleshy area. 
I take it you got a D in bedside manner, Frankie. There we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Gee, you know, I think that the itching stopped already. <laughs> Boy, could it be working this fast? It goes right into the bloodstream. Oh, my God. Frankie, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, wish me luck. Good luck. Okay. Bye. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Are, are you allergic to any medication? <laughs> I, I, I should ask that first, right? Hatfield, <laughs> I'm back. You wait right there. Don't you move. Don't move a thing. Okay. Oh, how long have we dreamt of this moment? Specialist. <laughs> At least a doctor with two days' experience. This reaction happens sometimes with cortisone, prednisone, Toblerone. <laughs> <laughs> doctor, I have an enlarged daughter. <laughs> Do something! Oh, Mrs. Sheffield, you're never gonna find me attractive. <laughs> oh, this fine. Don't you be ridiculous. There's two, three, six times as much of you to love. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Darling, it's time for the mother-daughter prenuptial tour. <laughs> Valerie, would you go into the kitchen and heat me up a nice big piece of apple pie? Oh, um, I get it. You want some privacy. No, I want pie. <laughs> Darling, I knew I would be too emotional on your wedding day, so I wrote you a letter. When did you have time to write it? On the day you were born. <laughs> <laughs> My darling daughter, after 23 hours of agonizing labor, P.S. I'm never letting your father touch me again. <laughs> you're finally here. Darling, this is the happiest day of my life until today, your wedding day. No. And now here you are, 21 years old. <laughs> Kennedy was president. We were all optimistic. <laughs> nah. You know, I don't want you to think just because I'm getting married that this is going to change anything between us. I may be living with Maxwell, but you'll always live in your own home. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. Good night, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> 